Hey, what's up everybody? Tapping in for another court chat. Today I wanted to talk about disappointments and kind of getting used to being a disappointment. When I was in my younger years, I was validation seeking from a parent probably more than I should have. But I was still determined to run my own path, you know what I'm saying? The, and that kind of, maybe that built the resilience within me, cause like I knew I was never gonna get it, but I guess I was always working towards it. So I had an insurmountable mountain to overcome, you know? And then again, like I said, the, the resilience that that built is definitely immeasurable. Like the, the things that I've gone through and I've had to overcome consistently kind of pale in comparison to this one particular mountain. You know, but once I realized that I didn't, that wasn't a mountain that I needed to climb, you know, it really instilled in me, you know, my, what my real accomplishments were. Like I was discussing in a video where I was talking about me being a loser, you know, I've definitely suffered some losses throughout my lifetime. But at the salient point is that I kept getting back up. I kept stepping one foot in front of another. I kept moving forward. I stayed on the path of purpose and direction throughout my life, regardless of whatever hardships might have come my way. Whether that's losing a intimate relationship, losing my personal freedom and being incarcerated, losing my livelihood through the loss of a job or you know even going homeless i've dealt with these things all somehow putting a smile on my face in the midst of these quote unquote storms that i've been weathering so that i could continue to be vibrant exciting willing to assist and though i am definitely those things I'm, I'm willing to assist. I'm vibrant, exciting, and I am willing to assist, though I'm not obligated to. And that is what really helped me finally crest this particular mountain of seeking validation. Because I'm not obligated to assist people. You know, and I was, I, I was doing my damnedest to try and help people that clearly didn't want to be helped by me, which is fine. I'm a helpful person though, but I can't force my help upon people that don't want it. I had to learn that lesson the hard way, you know? And, you know, once I came to grasp with that, in terms of that, I, I turned that additional effort into me, man. And I continued to help and big myself on a larger scale. And I got to shed burdens that were not mine to carry. And that is part of kind of a poor mindset. You know, where, and it's, I was talking with some, some family about this. It's not race specific. It's kind of a class deal and the mindset is the whole mindset behind any kind of like gangs or like hustle mentality is that we're trying to help each other but at some point people are going to do better than others and they are not going to be able to carry the weight of everybody with them they're going to need to Instruct those people on how to shoulder their own burdens, maybe teach them as much as possible, but you can't, again, make people take your help. You can't make people learn from you. You can't lift the weight for them. They're going to have to lift their own weight, or they're going to have to succumb to that and be crushed by it. 
It's unfortunate, but that is what it is. So again, that gang mentality, that hustle culture, we're all doing bad, so we want to help each other rise up. But at some point, somebody's pulling more weight than the next person. And if that next person gets too complacent with you or comfortable with you pulling their weight, now you're going to have to work twice as hard for less. And that's not okay to do to yourself. And sometimes you're going to have to outgrow some of these people that you might have grown up with because they chose not to grow up, to continue to grow up with you. Some people get stuck. Quicksand is a hell of a thing and it's all up here. If you can't get past, man, negativity, I, I was talking about this in a, in a different video as well, about things that I keep in my house. There's space, there's room to grow in my house. There's life. There, my plants are always budding and sprouting new life. I have children and little pitter-patter running around my house. My house is full of room for growth and development. That's what I choose to surround myself with. And my greater room of requirement or room for improvement that I choose to live in, the, these courts where you see me busting sweats, I, I, I bring whoever's willing to come in here with me. You know, for my folks, like for my team, I got, my homie was better at physical fitness than I was. I was better at finances and stuff than he was. You have different people throughout your network that help make your team a whole. Again, I discussed this about relationships as well. You're supposed to have overlapping strengths and weaknesses that create a stronger entity together, but people are too, too easy to be torn apart and too willing to take for granted some good thing you can independent your way out of the, the most beneficial situation you can have and you know it's unfortunate that some people actively choose to tear their family apart based on their happiness not considering if you got a family of five there's four other people's happiness that matter and then chances are some of the things that you might have been seeking after aren't gonna necessarily make you happy. People think that money is going to make them happy all the time. They want to win the lotto. They want to have some rich guy. They want to have the Bugattis, right? But they don't want to have the responsibility or the effort that it takes to maintain or even acquire these things. You know what I'm saying? So like you, you hear stories about millionaires that are miserable because they lack other things in their world that money can't buy. Mentality. Being poor, that mentality, you know what I'm saying? Being stuck, not being able to escape, not being able to let things go that do you no benefit to hold on to anyway, no matter how much you might love it. This is something that I was seeking validation from, and I love them to death. I, <laughs> I busted my butt to try and show that I could be successful enough to be helpful in their world. It worked. Let's say that it worked, and I'm lucky for that. It worked, but now I no longer have the desire or interest to help these people because of how difficult it's been. You know what I'm saying? So I uh, got the acknowledgement eventually, but by that time, I no longer cared for it because I was proud of me. I was, I was proud of them, all the things that I overcome without this kind of help, without really any kind of instruction. I've been holding it down by myself for as long as I can remember. Like, if you guys knew really kind of what my life was like, it, it, might, it might shock you, because from a very young age, I was taking care of my people. From a very young age. If you're ever in the position to rescue your parent, that blurs the line of, of parent-child relationship. And if they can't grow outside of that parent-child relationship, you need to step away from that. It's okay to let it go because it's only going to drag you down. Because I don't know how many of you out there have got into any trouble, but the person that comes to get you when you're in trouble, you owe them a debt of gratitude for their duration. 
It's not some, hey man, cool, appreciate that, then we're done. No, that's your, that's your best homie for life now. And if you choose to act anything other than that, bless your heart, you're open to do so. But remember, as vibrant, exciting, and willing to assist that they might be, they have no obligation to come save you. And the number one way to stay safe is preventative measures. So if you're not going to listen to help, to help keep yourself out of danger, don't be hitting me up when danger comes falling down around you. I, I try to tell you what's up, you know? That's where having self-awareness and future thought come in handy. But it's a mentality, man. Hurt people hurt people. It, it's a huge, huge area of strength to acknowledge that hurt and, I don't know, research and learn and take steps to endure that mental mind frame, heal it, and then move forward from it, minus the negativity and, and hatred. I know for a lot of people going through relationships, men and women, you might have a severe dislike for the opposite, but that's not, that's not healthy or helpful. And the longer you drag that around, the, man, the, the harder it's going to be for you to rise up, essentially, because it's dead weight. What's done is done. It's better to understand and move forward than to dwell and let it consume. And that's what people choose to do. I have that, I have that discussion in my video. It was a luxury. It was a luxury. I had to choose to dwell in that sadness, in that soaking sadness for myself. I had to consciously choose to do it. I had to say no to things. I had to push people away. I had to actively engage in that. There's no way that I can say that I didn't. So, again, it's that poor mindset. It's, it's those things that are going to keep you from getting out of a situation that you're in into a situation that would be more beneficial for yourself. So just to, again, to circle back, it's, it's that kind of value. Value yourself. Seeking validation is okay. Being a disappointment is even better because you're going to be a disappointment to everybody. Why? Because everybody doesn't see or share your vision. That is okay. What's not okay is to be a disappointment to you. Are you proud of you? Are you happy with the life that you've built for yourself? Do you have a world that you're comfortable inviting other people into? Have you created a mindset with skills that allow you to take on and overcome various obstacles that life is going to hand you. If not, you might want to reconsider, take a step back, look around, think about what you're doing versus what you could be doing, and one step in front of the other, baby, start moving forward, start making progress day by day. The little, the little things are going to add up to be the biggest investments over time. And the biggest thing that you can invest in is you. Nobody else can do it for you. I want all of you guys to invest in yourself, but I can't come through the screen. I can't move one foot in front of the other for you. you got to control this and put these to work. you got to do it. So... I implore you, be comfortable being a disappointment to other people. Be very uncomfortable with disappointing yourself. Don't let yourself down. You can be your own worst critic, but you don't have to beat yourself up. Acknowledge what you are doing correct. Make note of things that you need to work on, and then Keep consistent with both of those behaviors so that you can tie in 
the good with the bad things. So eventually you'll lace it up and you'll have a streamlined check of behaviors that are gonna set you up on a forward path. Keep moving forward. Don't be afraid to disappoint others. You might not get to go out to that party. You might not get to go out and, and, and stay out extra late and drinking. You might need to go to bed early to get up early for work the next day. You might have to miss a meal so that you can stay on your fitness track and health and well-being. You might have to put in a little bit extra work because you had a cheat day. You might have to do things, but that's okay. You can, let, you can let people down. Don't let yourself down. And on that note, shout out to Orion at Psychax. I have been tapping into some of his videos lately. He has a very interesting perspective because of you know, the nature of his background. You know, having lived experience that alters from him, I, I agree with a lot of the things that he says, but I, I guess I just have a different outlook on some of them as well. Um, we'll talk about that in the next one, you know, different hats that you might be wearing. And, you know, once you are comfortable wearing that one hat, but just adjust, adjusting the dial on that hat, you know, being authentically who you are at all times versus shifting what hat you're going to wear based on whatever situation it is, you might have a better all around experience through your life because you're being more of who you are, less of what the world or society is going to expect from you. So again, shout out to Orion Psych Hacks. I appreciate all you guys tuning in. I encourage you to join the Way Train and continue to conduct yourself in a manner that's going to move you forward to a better and brighter future. And on that note, Wagey's out.